Panama Buena Vista Union School District's getting ready for a big day, bringing some students back on campus. 17's Ileana Capellan joins us now with the latest this morning, live there from one of the schools in Southwest Bakersfield. Good morning, Ileana. Good morning, Maddie. Today is a day that many educators, students, and parents have been looking forward to for almost a year now, the return to in-person instruction. Now here locally, PBVUSD has been preparing for this day for many, many weeks. Last Saturday, PBVUSD in conjunction with Express Pharmacy hosted the district's first COVID-19 vaccine clinic. They vaccinated well over 300 district employees and have had their second vaccine clinic set for this Saturday, March 6th in the district's boardroom on Ash Road. Future dates will be set as vaccines become available and more clinics will be held to administer the second dose of the vaccine. There is no cost to employees and they are receiving the Moderna vaccine. The goal is to vaccinate all interested employees efficiently so that they may return to students to school while keeping employees, students, and the community safe. And as we mentioned earlier, in just a few hours, the seats in these classrooms behind us will be filled with students. Jennifer, we were talking earlier about this kind of being a breath of fresh air in the light of the end of the tunnel. How are you guys feeling as you get ready to prepare for students coming back? Well, we could not be more excited. We are, we have been planning this since last March, trying to get our kids back in school. And it is, it is like no other first day of school that we've ever had. We are so excited to see our little ones start. And then our first, second, third, and fourth, fifth, and sixth subsequent, subsequent weeks. Yeah, so it's pretty exciting. And Miss Kathy, you, this is your first time as a principal for a yeah. new elementary school. <laughs> Tell me about the preparation that you guys have had to take to prepare for this big day. Uh, absolutely. Our teachers have worked extremely hard with the support of Jennifer's office, um, providing safety measures, ensuring our students' uh, desks are separated and they have all their own materials. The curriculum is ready. They are so excited. I was just on a Zoom I'm observing some students yesterday, and the teacher said, I'll see you tomorrow. And it was squeals all around. So we are ready to go. This is great news. And we were talking a little bit about the precautions that are being taken. So talking about that note, tell me more about that. What can parents expect as they drop off their students today? That's a great question. The governor put out new guidelines on January 14th, but as parents drop off their students, their temperature will be taken before they walk through the gate. And we want to make sure that nobody has a temperature. And as they go to class, they're going to have their own separate desk. We have plexiglass barriers. Students do have to wear a mask the entire time they're on campus. But we have so many safety protocols and all of our staff has been trained and parent videos have been out. We are unbelievably safe. This is great news. And this is the first time that general education has gotten to come back at all this year, correct? Yes, that's correct. And I, again, we could not be more excited about this. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the start of special education last week. Um, whoever would like to take okay. it. Well, our special education was able to start in September under the special cohort rule, special education and also our foster homeless and some EL. So when we started again, when we did it in September, we were able to bring them back a little bit at a time, learn our safety measures, and then learn from that moving forward. And so when we got ready to bring them back this year, we were able to bring them all back at the same time. And it is just, to see kids on campus is... And it's unbelievable. We are just, I mean, I could not be more excited. Yeah. And what time does the first official bell ring today? Oh, 8 o'clock, the bell rings. You can see right here where there we have everything all set up. We've got welcoming signs. We're going to have some balloons. So 8 o'clock, they'll be here and in the doors. Goodness. Now, this is a big day for everybody all around, teachers included. How are the teachers feeling as they're getting ready to get back out here? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Like, can I jump in? Absolutely. They are so excited. They have, they have missed their students so much. I mean, they're, of course, nervous because this is like a first day of school that no one has ever had before. But they are so thrilled. I mean, th we had a meeting yesterday, and they, they can't wait for their kids to come back. Well, we are very excited for you guys and excited to see what happens and what comes of this. Hopefully, we are able to stay in school a little bit longer. Absolutely. Well, guys, we are here outside of Old River Elementary School. I'm not sure if you can follow me around and see. They are fully preparing for the arrival of their students coming in. So we will just keep on track and see how this, this goes today. I'm reporting live in Bakersfield, Ileana Capellan, 17 News.